mounting the steps to a huge Boeing 747 may be the image most Americans associate with the presidency and aviation. But our Fox Nation host and our proud American reporter Abby Hornacek has the story of a much smaller and much more historic plane, Ike's Bird. Hey, Abby. Hey, Jackie, you said it exactly right. This is not the Air Force One plane we're used to seeing that weighs around 900,000 pounds, but instead, it's an aero commander that's closer to around 6,000 pounds, but it still carried a president. Nicknamed Ike's Bird, it belonged to President Dwight D. Eisenhower, and it's the smallest plane to ever hold the call sign Air Force One. Now, it's not decked out with those defensive systems and communications equipment our more current presidents have, but I'm told it's still stays and safe. I asked the pilot of Ike's Bird, Franz Madsen, why President Eisenhower used this type of plane. Here's what he had to say. Back in the 50s, uh, helicopters were not too reliable yet. So the President Eisenhower wanted a, play, a plane so he could fly down to his ranch in Gettysburg. And uh, he, they, he told his generals to, hey, find me a twin engine airplane that we can land on the grass strip. It's reliable and safe. Yeah, and the airplane as you see it today is the way it came off the factory assembly line all the way down to its color. And oftentimes it had a unique pilot at the helm. President Eisenhower had his pilot's license, so often he would fly his own Air Force One plane. You know, he would typically have a colonel or a safety pilot here, but what's also really neat about this plane is a lot of these instruments are still original. Yeah, and Ike's bird is still being put to good use. Since it's easy to get in and out of, unlike some other old war birds, the owners of the plane offer free rides to veterans at no cost to them. Jackie? Wow, such a fun segment. Abby, thank you so much. And Abby has much more high-flying action tomorrow. She takes us inside the Kansas City Air Show. So we will look forward to that.